Hi guys, it's Cece. Today I'm doing another cosplay tutorial. Um, I'm actually doing something that I haven't done in a little over a year because I've kind of grown out of this fandom, but I'm kind of giving it like my last final hurrah. Um, this is a tutorial for Homestuck shirts. And honestly, you can use this tutorial for a lot of things. I used it for my Amaterasu cosplay, um, and probably other cosplays too that I just can't remember <laughs> at this point. Um, but it works out really well, especially if you like to paint. So yeah. Alright, but yeah, first of all, I'm just gonna go through your supplies. So the first thing that you will need is a shirt. Um, I, today I'm doing Carcat and Equius, so I have a long sleeve black shirt and it's really comfy. I bought this on Amazon for like $7 or something. And then I also have a tank top that I bought on Amazon for again like $6 or something like that and this is for Equius. Off to the side on my bed I have some black sweatpants that I'm going to be using for Gamzee and I'm going to be doing the same method but it's going to be a lot easier because I'm just painting dots onto the pants. The next thing you'll need are printouts of the symbols that you'll be painting. You can do this with any symbol. I've actually made a rose shirt doing the same method and I used this also for my Kanaya shirt and I've also made a Gamzee shirt so I've done this quite a few times. You can do it with anything if um, you get creative with the cutting. So I'll show you how to use these. And then for cutting out the symbols you can use scissors which I've done in the past but um, since my last Homestuck cosplays I've gotten an X-Acto knife and if you're using this you're going to want a hard surface to cut out your pieces on so you don't cut through things. And then you will be needing some paints. Really, um, fabric paint and acrylic paint are the exact same thing, but fabric paint has something in it to make it more flexible, so it's definitely okay to use acrylic paint on your clothing. People say that it washes out, but I've never had a problem with it washing out at all. I used acrylic paint on my page costume on the blood on the top and it's been there for about a year, so it's definitely okay to use acrylics. Um, I, any brand really will work. I have like five different brands. I have Crafters Acrylic, um, Tulip Soft Fabric Paint, Simply Acrylic, Basics, and Artist Loft. So, I mean, just pick a bunch of colors and you gotta be able to mix these together to get the exact color that you want for your different characters. You will also need a variety of paintbrushes. I prefer smaller paintbrushes for things like this so that it's a bit more precise, but I have a whole bunch right here to choose from. I also have a toothbrush in here that I used. Oh, just a whole bunch of paintbrushes and also a cup of water so you can rinse out your brushes and stuff so they don't get all crusty and gross like a lot of mine are. Finally, you will need something to place between the two layers of your shirt while you're painting it. I just have some old poster board here. I think I actually use this to make part of my Foxy cosplay. Um, but usually I use cardboard and that works out really great, but this will also work. Okay, so here I have my Equius template uh, laid out on a clipboard, and I have my X-Acto knife here. So all that you want to do for characters who have their design all in one piece without any holes in it, like Carcat has here, uh, you really, you just want to take your X-Acto knife and really carefully trace along the edge of the design until you've cut the entire thing out. Now for characters that have these little holes, um, like who else has one? Kanaya has like a little loop in hers and so does Carcat. You want to um, make sure that it all stays in one piece because you're going to be cutting out this colored area. So in order to keep this circle in the middle, we're going to have to leave a little um, like square of this color in so that this circle can still be attached to the paper, if that makes any sense. So I'm going to make two cuts here. And then I'm just going to go ahead and cut out all the rest of this. Okay, and then when you've done the edge, you just cut out the inside of the circle. Okay. 
Okay, and so this whole part should be free except for this little square here. And that's because we are going to be painting in this empty space and we want to be able to have a perfect circle in the center. So um, you need to be able to have this still attached. Another thing that you could do is you could just completely cut this out and save this circle. And then when you position your empty template on your shirt, you can just place the center of the circle wherever you want it to be. That's actually what I did when I made the rose shirt that I did with the eyes of the squid. I cut them out and then once I painted the whole thing purple, I placed the eyes where I wanted them and painted them in. So yeah, um, just finished cutting out the colored part of your template as accurately as you can. Again, if you're using scissors, just be really careful. Um, it's a little bit harder with scissors, but you can definitely do it. Okay, and when you're finished, you should end up with something like one of these, depending on what kind of design you have. Alrighty, so here is my long sleeve shirt. I have the poster board slipped up um, into the shirt. Um, so when I paint, the paint won't bleed through to the other side of the shirt, it'll just go onto the poster board. And then I have my template here. It's about as centered as I could get it. Probably like try on the shirt before you paint it so that you get an idea of how high up the design has to be because um, I've made my Gamzy shirt um, a long time ago. The symbol was a little bit too low and it looks kind of weird, but that is okay. So here I have a gray acrylic and a black and white acrylic So because I don't have very much of this left. So I'm going to squirt this out on my super colorful painting cardboard and I'll mix in the black and white as needed. I'm actually really liking this gray color straight out of the bottle. Um, if you really must know, this is Artist Loft. Artist's Loft Acrylic Paint in Grey, and it looks like this. It might be a little bit dark for some people's taste, but I think that I like how it looks, and so I'm just going to go with this. So this is the brush that I have picked out. It's kind of gross, but it's a pretty small brush. Um, before I start painting, I'm actually going to go grab some tape and tape this down to my shirt so that it doesn't shift around while I'm painting. Also, I forgot to mention this, but um, you can definitely just hand paint the designs onto your shirt if you feel confident enough, but um, I'm really not confident in my drawing abilities at all, so I like to use a template just so I get like the very perfect shape that I'm looking for. Alrighty, so now my design is taped down onto the shirt, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a very little bit of the paint and I'm just going to trace around the edge of the template. I zoomed in a little bit so maybe you can see a tiny bit better, but what I'm doing is I'm just taking this paint and I'm painting just the edge. Um, with this area where I left that square, I'm just going to paint also the edge of the square and make sure you just paint all around all the edges of your template. Alrighty, so I'm not sure if you can really tell, but I did a very rough outline of this shape all the way around. And so now I'm going to very carefully pull it off of my shirt. Okay. And so as you can see, we have a very rough outline of the shape that we traced. Alrighty, so now what you're going to do is um, you're going to want to fill it in if you have a shape that has holes in it, you can trace in the lines that you still need to add, um, but I'm just going to go ahead and fill in this whole thing and let it dry. Alrighty, so I have completely filled in my shape and I'm not really sure if you guys can tell or not, but it's really uneven. And um, this is okay because I'm, with this color, since it's really light, I'm probably going to do three coats. But for something darker, like Aqueous's shirt, I'm probably going to only have to do ten shirt, or ten. Um, I'm probably going to only have to do two layers of paint. If you're doing um, Solux, you'll probably have to do like four, because yellow is so pale, especially on a black shirt to start off with. But anyway, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take a bit smaller of a brush 
something kind of like this, if you guys can see. And I'm going to very, very carefully touch up all of my edges so that I can get them as perfect as possible. And then I'm going to do a whole second layer of paint and see how that looks afterwards. And yeah, I'm basically just going to cut ahead until I'm completely finished with my shirt so you guys can see what it will look like. And then this is my finished car cat shirt. It is on my body, obviously. This one I'm very happy with. I ended up only doing two coats of paint and it looks really good, especially on camera. Um, I touched up the edges quite a lot on this one. I didn't have as many issues with my Acquia shirt, um, but I'm very happy with this and it looks almost as good as the sweater that I have that I bought off of um, Wet Pumpkin about a year and a half ago. So. I'm very happy with this. Okay, so um, that is all for my tutorial on how to paint a shirt or any design really. Like I said in the beginning, you can use this for anything. It doesn't just have to be for Homestuck Trolls. You can even use the same template method just to do like polka dots that are all the same size or stripes on a sleeve or something like that. You can use it for really anything. So um, yeah, yeah, just keep in mind that this is not just for Homestuck Trolls. And yes, you can do this with any troll, any design. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them down below in the comments and I will try to help you out. I've done, I think, five shirts using this method. Um, and also I did it for a dress. So um, I definitely have experience with this. So if you need help, comment below and I will help you out. So that is all for this week's video, and yeah, I will see you guys next week. Bye!